Today, we are going to start by cutting out our favorite design. So you want to choose the one that you like the best, that you think would look the most cool repeated four times, and cut that design out from your paper. Then we're going to take that design and we're going to carefully line it up with the corners of our printing plate. Then we will use tape to tape on the edges. So you only need a small piece of tape. Start at the front and then kind of curve it over to the back. And that way it is going to keep your paper secure on your printing plate. Then you want to use the red pen to trace around all of your pencil lines. You want to press down slightly hard because when you are doing this, what's happening is it's making a slight indent on your printing plate. So you see how now I can actually see the lines start to happen on that printing plate? Those indent lines are going to help us to see our design when we start to carve it in. Once you are all finished tracing each one of your lines for your design, and you can tell which ones you've done because they will be in red because of your pen, then we are going to make sure that we put our name on the back of our printing plate with a sharpie. We need to use a sharpie so that it will stay on our printing plate because a sharpie marker is permanent. So I will write my name and my teacher's name on that printing plate and then I am all ready to take the tape off. So I'm going to carefully peel the tape off with my fingers and then what you can do is actually keep your design just in case you missed any lines. That way you can still use it for a reference. Then you're going to take your red pen and you are going to carve into your printing plate. So I want to push down slightly hard, but not hard enough where I would actually tear through the printing plate. Um, you'll be able to get a feeling for um, how hard to press. So I'm just going to draw over all of my indents that I made from before with the red pen first. Then after I use the red pen, just to make sure that all of those lines are very, very nice and deep in the printing plate, I'm going to go over them a second time in blue. This is because if those lines are not deep enough, then when we print it, it will not work. We want to make sure that those lines are nice and deep into our printing plate because when we print it, those are the lines that are going to show through to our background paper. Those are the lines that are going to be kind of in white when we print it. So again, next time we are going to be inking our plate and then we are going to be lining it up with the corners of our paper so that we can make our beautiful print. Notice how I was saying those lines that we're carving today are the ones that are going to show through to our background paper. So you can tell that those lines that I carved were nice and deep because they are showing up very, very nicely on my final print. If you don't carve deep enough, then your print will not turn out quite as well because then we won't have those lines show through. 